Hola and welcome to my YouTube channel here at Benidorm and beyond. I'm an English woman who's lived right here in this tourist city for over 20 years and my aim is to give you a unique and different take on all there is to see, do and enjoy in Benidorm and the surrounding areas. So please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my brand new content as I upload it in the future. Also, please feel free to interact with the channel by adding a like, a comment or just an emoji as this helps my YouTube videos to be seen by more viewers and also to spread the word about Benidorm and beyond and get more positive vlogs about our fantastic resort out there in the world. Today I'm paying tribute to one of Benidorm's absolute legends on the entertainment circuit, the one and only Sticky Vicky or Victoria Aragues Gadea, who sadly died yesterday on Wednesday, November the 29th at 6am. The tragic news was announced on social media by her daughter De Maria, also a Benidorm performer, writing, I can't believe it, she has gone surrounded by her family with all our love. I thank God for being able to always be by her side, I am left with a broken heart. Aged 80 when she passed, in her heyday Vicky was a must-see icon in the resort, with many thousands of holidaymakers having watched her X-rated risque show over the years, with her name still being mentioned on a regular basis in town, despite her having retired over eight years ago. Born in Santa Cruz de Tenerife in the Canary Islands back in 1943, she then moved to Barcelona and trained as a ballet dancer where she studied classical ballet for 15 years, and later worked as a dancer in a musical dance show along with her sister, who was a contortionist, under the name of the Gadea Sisters or Emanas Gadea. After the death of Spain's dictator Franco in 1975 and the subsequent relaxation of censorship, audiences started demanding more explicit shows as entertainment, with many foreigners willing to perform naked. Not wanting to miss out on this new trend, Vicky practiced a new special brand of sexy magic with help from a magician on the circuit, resulting in the daring routines that we all came to know her for, and showcased her latest turn in Barcelona, as well as many northern Spanish cities and in variety shows abroad, before moving to Benidorm in the early 1980s. Having now been persuaded to call herself Vicky Layton by one of her management team, her show soon progressed from producing simple handkerchiefs from her private parts, shall we say, to eventually everything and anything appearing, including ping pong balls, sausages, razor blades and light bulbs. And with Vicky always displaying a great display of professionalism, despite being dressed in only a red lipstick smile. She also made two guest appearances in ITV's hit comedy series Benidorm, including one episode where she was brought in as guest of honour to open Mel's mobility shop in season three. Vicky was always grateful to be performing well into her later years, once saying, I never thought I could be on stage at my age and it's all thanks to the English public. In 2015 she underwent a hip operation and in 2016 she was sadly diagnosed with uterine cancer and announced her retirement. I want to enjoy life now, I've been working since I was 11 and it's time for a rest, she said at the time. In July last year, Vicky was injured in a fall that damaged both her knees and had surgery and a five day stay in hospital as a result. Vicky never married but had one son, Eduardo, and one daughter, De Maria. Her daughter now performs in Benidorm's new town at the cabaret venues Rockefellers, Zodiac and the Palladium under the name of De Maria Layton or Sticky Vicky the legend continues and regularly wows crowds with her contortionist moves, flexibility and strength showing she really is following on in the footsteps of her famous and much admired mother. With Vicky's show said to have been seen by literally millions over the years, tributes poured in yesterday from all over Europe, including heartfelt eulogies in both the Spanish and online British media. I send my own condolences to her family at this sad time and hope that they can take some comfort from the hundreds of homages that are being paid to this Benidorm legend, exotic dancer and of course mother and grandmother. And all that's left to say is RIP Sticky Vicky, may you rest in peace. I hope you've enjoyed this short news update and tribute with me today and if you have please join me again soon for more of my local updates and news bulletins, detailed street and beachfront walks and tours and reviews on Benidorm's most popular hotels, cafes, bars and new businesses. Thanks so much for watching as always and I'll catch you here at Benidorm and beyond next time. Bye for now, take care and see you again soon. Cheers!